cleaning up the engine bay here. It's looking pretty dirty. Some parts I want to eventually uh, fall off would be the EGR, EGR cooler. And yeah, so I'm going to use a hose first to just get some of this loose dirt off of the truck. And then I'm just going to wipe it down with some vinegar and water solution. Um, I'm not a big fan of using harsh chemicals and stuff like that, breathing that stuff in. And the next thing that I want to show you guys that I actually want to fall off the truck down under here if you look under here the the DPF right there I hate that diesel particulate filter there's just not good for the truck at all when I started the truck I tried to smell like if I can smell the engine because you know my Silverado smells a lot you can't smell anything it's definitely because all this emission stuff so that's a good thing but it's not good for the engine so I don't want it <laughs> there we go guys I just finished up washing it it's honestly looking a lot better already I didn't expect that much dirt to come off so now all it's left to do is just grab some shop towels and the rinsing solution and I'm just gonna start wiping stuff off because you know it looks good now but you know when it starts drying you'll see that a lot of the dirt is actually still there so I'm gonna go grab that now <laughs> we go we just did a quick wipe down of the truck i mean everything's looking a bit cleaner now could have done a better job spent more time at it but i just wanted to get it wiped down i didn't really want to have it you know show truck worthy or anything but this is definitely good for now and i really like the cummins logo it's something that i really think it's cool and all and don't call me crazy guys because i looked up on cummins forums that a ton of guys hose down their trucks all the time in the engine bay and they even use chemicals and stuff as well. I just used a vinegar and water solution. I barely even used that. So everything's looking a lot better now. And the only thing really left to do with the truck is clean up the interior. But first of all, let's give the Silverado some love. Clean her up first. And then I'll show you guys what has been hidden and all the special stuff that has been left over in the truck. So before I start on the Silverado, I just wanted to know what truck do you guys like better? Do you like the Silverado or the Cummins? I mean, both are builds that are nowhere near done. So let me know in the comments below. Anyways, with the Silverado, first I was going to get to the underneath. I was going to wash out some dirt that I got when I was trail riding on the gravel slash dirt roads and stuff. to the wash and wax using the same products I did on the Cummins so hopefully she signs just as good. So I figure while I had the truck unlocked I'd just do a quick wipe down in here. Everything's looking a bit dusty from the last adventure. Man, there's a lot of dust in here. Everything's good on the outside. Did some touching up on the inside. I beat the living piss out of this mat here because that was really dirty. I mean, with the mat over there, you can just, rocks would just slide right off. But yeah, I wiped down the interior a little bit. Everything's looking clean once again. For new viewers, the cinder blocks here, just in case I need to lay down winch on something because i have a lift so that winch will not reach just stock height everything's been clean back here so yeah everything's looking good on the trucks now both of them are cleaned up and ready to go i'm just going to clean a little bit of this stuff up here and then i'm going to get to the interior of the cummins and i want to show you guys the secret stuff that's been hidden in the cummins ever since i bought it and then we'll go from there so let's do it. So I figured I'd start on the interior now. The whole drive back, I noticed that the whole steering wheel was already pretty sticky. And the solution I'm using, like before, is just some vinegar and water. I filled her up, though. I also put a hint, but just a hint, of some soap. Just some regular dish soap that you can get anywhere, really. Nothing special. No special brand. I don't even know what it was. Forget what it was. All right. So I'm just wiping down the steering wheel now. 
I already got around the edges of the door and everything and the bottom part they were looking pretty dirty if you want to guys want to take a look at that the bottom part of the door is looking flawless it's honestly looking as clean as the paint on the outside of the truck but yeah I'm just trying to touch up on the inside now and get everything clean as the outside because I don't know I just like having a clean truck on the inside you guys may be thinking I'm being a little bit too picky with everything about this truck. I'm just trying to get everything perfect before we start up the mods. Yes, guys, that is going to be happening. And for those that were wondering where are the mods at, well, they are coming. I just want to get this truck 100% perfect before I start doing that. There we go. I just got the automatic shifter type of deal. I'm not too worried about getting water on the electronics. I've done this a lot with my Silverado and there's been no problems at all, so. So usually dealers, at least in my area, they always, they always get like every single nook and cranny of the interior and stuff this wasn't too clean I mean it is a used truck so I guess they probably don't do that much so there we go guys just finished her all up I just wanted to show you the interior a little bit yep got like, everything cleaned up I cleaned the uh, steering wheel the center console and all that stuff I had to scrub a lot of it down it was getting pretty sticky and stuff from the previous owner and you know it is a used truck so i do realize it can't be perfect but i want to get it as clean as i possibly can i wiped down the dash and stuff like that i got around the doors around up here i did the whole you know back seats and everything there's so much room back here i really like that and i got all this cleaned up more black paste around the edges i got all that cleaned up everything's looking good look how shiny that looks right now it looks great i scrubbed down the center console because that was you know that was pretty sticky and stuff like that like i said and got the other sides of course and everything's looking good so the only thing really left to do is to get the vacuum cleaner which i already got out if you guys see here i got a vacmaster 1.75 peak horsepower think about all that power that's running through that motor yes this is a diesel no i'm just kidding but <laughs> so i guess i'm just going to get to that now that's the really only thing left to do with the interior is just to give it a good vacuum the other side doesn't have a floor mat so that's going to have to be addressed eventually maybe i'll make a trip to the junkyard find some parts for the cummins who knows <laughs> i'll definitely make a video going out going down there with my friends or something like that checking out what they got hopefully they got a lot of old trucks last time i was there they did so that's pretty awesome just got to get that vacuum clean done, and then we're going to be good to go. I don't know what else I'm going to be doing with the inside of the truck, but we'll see. All right, I don't know if you guys saw that there, but there was like a guitar pick and that doesn't surprise me because i bought this from pretty much nashville tennessee and that's the music city usa i saw it just about i swear i saw it go into the tube so i tried to clear out the tube and then i looked in the bag i tried to clear the bag out out by the grass to see if it was there so then i was checking i'm like you know i better check again to see if there was anything else under the seat and then i notice a guitar pick right here so i don't know I'm, I'm thinking this is the one or maybe there was another one i'm hoping this is the one brian white it's pretty awesome that i just found this i mean i didn't expect to find something like this here glad i was able to retrieve this before it got sucked into the vacuum because i maybe i would have never gotten it i do have a guitar in my house so just gonna add this to the collection And voila, finished cleaning up the interior of the truck, vacuumed everything out, vacuumed the mats, put the mats back in. Look how clean that is, guys. I spent a lot of time on it. I wanted to make sure I could get it as clean as possible, like I said before, with the detailing and stuff like that. I also put a temporary mat over there. I mean, it's kind of ugly because it doesn't match the rest of the truck. All the other mats are black and stuff, but there is some kind of, you know, tan to the truck. So it's going to match a little bit, 
but just for now that's going to be good i want to just have it covered just in case you know i'm going to have a passenger here soon so i also tape down the top of this part with painters tape because i'm actually going to take care of this right here it's kind of annoying it kind of bugs me it's only going to get worse i don't have the exact paint but i do have some rust-oleum paint plus primer it's gray so I sprayed a little bit right here. It's gonna it's gonna look a lot better than what it does there like that. So I'm just gonna get that squared away here. Bada bing, bada boom. Suffered from a little bit of overspray, but definitely like the look of this better than all that, you know, weird scratching and stuff like that. This is not anywhere a permanent fix. I just wanted to temporarily get that out of the way. You know, I think it's just crazy the amount of compartments that are in this truck. I mean, look at that. There's one there, there's one just like that on the other side. You got one here, and I'm pretty sure you can actually open up the one on that side too. So I think that's awesome that there's all these compartments. And just look at the amount of room that you have back here for the activities, you know what I'm saying? Over here on this side, you got the sub pretty freaking awesome man definitely upgrade that to something beastly oh yeah and i also forgot one more thing i forgot to actually get the spare tire assembly and put that back now that i vacuum cleaned grab all those here's the cover all right now let's get that stuff back in